Hello there, my name is Confidence. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Switch widget and I'm going to show you some ways in which you can customize it to get the most use out of the Switch widget. For us to get started, I'm going to head over to the widget section and then I'm going to bring a new Switch widget into the canvas. And right here, we can see the Switch widget on the canvas. The first thing you can go on to do is to update the name of the Switch widgets to whatever you feel will be more memorable. So for example, we can update this to my switch for example my switch and there we have the name updated so this makes it easy to reference this switch widget somewhere else in code as we go along with building the application the next property we have to configure is the label property and whatever text we supply here gets um, shown here in the widget so i can update this to something like send me coffee and we can see that that shows up right there on the switch widget. We can also adjust the alignment of the switch widget. Uh, so to show you this feature, I'm just going to expand the switch widget a bit so that we have more room. Then I'm going to go ahead to adjust the alignment so I can set this to um, right align and we can see that every content of the switch widget has been moved to the right side. So let's set this back to left so that we have everything on the left side. We can also set the switch widget to be selected by default and turning on this switch would enable that. So we can see that the switch widget is selected by default. We can set it to be visible or not. We can also go ahead to set it to be disabled by turning on this switch. Um, it's still visible, but it does not receive user input because we have set this to be disabled. And for any of these properties, whether the default selected property, the visible property, or the disabled property, we can go into JavaScript mode and write some JavaScript that would return either true or false to set that property to be on or off. So let's um, put this back. And we also have the ability to run actions whenever an event occurs on the switch widget. So we have the on change event. And for this event, we can go in to run any of these predefined actions we have here on the list, or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write some custom JavaScript that wants to be executed whenever uh, the switch state changes from either selected or unselected. So we can write an event to be fired for any of those states. So this has been the Switch Widget and I hope you found this video helpful.